Now at 7, a Pompano Beach nursing home facility, now a hotspot for coronavirus after two residents pass away and five others are hospitalized. The facility says those senior residents were taken to the hospital just a week ago. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is outside the facility with details on what management says happened. Carrie. Well, that's right. According to a spokesperson for the court at Palmair, the building here behind me, as you mentioned, two residents passed away. Six others were tested. Five of them tested positive for COVID-19. And this comes as Governor Ron DeSantis continues to push increased spot testing for willing residents and staff at nursing homes and assisted living facilities in Florida, and especially in hard-hit South Florida. A spokesperson for the Court of Palm Air Senior Living Community released a statement to CBS 4 News Tuesday afternoon confirming deaths and positive cases of COVID-19 at the facility. The statement says, we are deeply saddened to confirm that two of our skilled nursing residents who had previously been hospitalized on April 7th have passed away due to complications related to COVID-19. The statement also says five individuals remain in the hospital under quarantine and one is in quarantine in our skilled nursing facility. All these individuals are receiving the necessary medical support. During the afternoon, we have not seen any activity at the facility from first responders or the State Department of Health. And Paul Mayer says they're taking steps to deal with the crisis. Their statement says our experienced professionals are working tirelessly to minimize opportunities for exposure to the virus and have been monitoring all residents and staff for signs and symptoms of COVID-19, including with regular temperature checks. Also Tuesday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis spoke about doing spot testing at nursing homes and assisted living facilities across the state and especially in South Florida. We want to expand that as widely uh, as we can. It's very, very important uh, that we focus resources on those people who are the most vulnerable uh, to COVID-19. In addition to the deaths at Palm Air, seven residents at the Atria Willowwood Nursing Facility in Fort Lauderdale have also died from COVID-19. DeSantis said it's important to test staff members at nursing homes to determine if any are asymptomatic. So you have one staff member who's not symptomatic and they can infect 10, 20 other staff members and obviously that could transfer over to the residents. In their statement, the spokesperson for the court at Palm Air said their hearts go out to the families of the people who died from COVID-19. They also said they're working with the city of Pompano Beach in efforts to minimize the spread of the virus. We did reach out to that spokesperson several times since this story broke to try to get additional information like, are any residents inside being isolated at this time? Do they have any idea how the virus got into the court of Palm Air. Also, whether there have been any other positive COVID-19 cases in recent weeks, we're still awaiting a response from the spokesperson. Live in Pompano Beach, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.